Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good. I'm gonna do a little video on just going through the hives. This is a, uh, a hive that actually, this was a swarm, a late season swarm that I caught. Bees on top of the lid. I checked my bees over at my mom's house today. I think I got one of those over there that's clean. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. Got a lot of bees over there. What I'm looking for today is uh, pollen stores, honey stores, and uh, just to check the overall health of the bees. See if the queen's laying. What she's laying, she could be draw, uh, laying workers or she could be working uh, laying uh, drones, which this time of year is a thing that they would be doing. Right in that frame there, you can see uh, a little bit of nectar store, and uh, there's pollen stores right around in here. And pollen's just all different colors. Pull stuff off of like that off of your frames because if you don't, then you start cross combing and then you'll have a, a mess on your hands. Now this frame here's got worker brood drawn on it. Seeing the big cells there, I don't know how good it's going to pick up on the camera, but that's a uh, bee larva. Those are actually drones. They'll probably hatch out here in the next two weeks or so. And you can really see the pollen really good at the top of that frame. But that right there is worker's brood that's capped. The bees are fainting pretty good today because uh, it's a little, a little windy out here. I try not to smoke my bees no more than what I have to. All my bees are normally pretty good. Bees. I find if you smoke them a whole lot, then they eat up their stores a lot. And this time of year, they don't have a whole lot of stores, so I try not to smoke them too much. But that's a good frame to see the pollen. It's a whole bunch of pollen. tell by the eggs and the larva that's on the uh, that's in the frame. This frame's got a lot of eggs on it. You can see right here in the center, this right here is a drone. It's a male bee. It's the only males in the uh, colony. It doesn't have a stinger and see how big his eyes are. That's one way you can tell a drone from a worker bee. They're only uh, 
job in life is to uh, eat honey out of everybody's hives and uh, to mate. When drones mate, they uh, mate one time and that is the end of them. This queen here has always been a little tricky queen. If she even smells smoke, she'll hide. I have found her on the last frame, but it looked like they should, she shouldn't even be there. She was there hiding. There's been a lot of cross combing onto the side of the box. Try to knock that off, get them under control. Because that habit's hard to break. So this is a good frame here. You see the uh, pollen and a little bit of nectar store. The bee in the center there, you can see the uh, pollen on her legs. She's trying to find some a cell to put it in. That right there is what you call a hive beetle. We have them here in the south. They can be a little destructive if they want to be. I normally take my hive tool and crush them. I don't really have a, a, a hive beetle problem here, but in some parts of the United States they do. They say they don't have them in California, but I find that hard to believe myself. bees you probably I don't know if you can see that on camera or not but my bees are normally really really good I just had one on my shirt and I just picked her up and put her back in the hive I'm looking for the queen if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm gonna put this really really close to the camera and see if it'll pick the eggs up in the bottom of the cells if it does I'll leave a little comment and see if I can't highlight them or circle them somehow in the editing software Now the queen that's in this box, she should be a varroa, a varroa resistant queen. Uh, this hive went queenless. So I took some eggs out of one of my varroa resistant uh, hives and put it in here and they actually made their own queen. She's really hiding good today. I know we don't have that much trouble finding a queen, but she's definitely laying because the majority of these cells have it has eggs in them. So she should be on this frame or one pretty close to it.
All right. The queen is on this frame right here. She's trying to play hide and go seek. But if you'll notice, she's right there. She's the one with the big ab abdomen that keeps changing sides on the frame. She's right there. See how she's a little bit bigger than the rest of the bees her abdomen is. So this hive's doing good. Just wanted to give y'all a little close look at uh, how I do my hive inspections and stuff. If y'all got any questions or want to find out anything about beekeeping, just uh, shoot me a message or uh, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you and try to answer the questions that I can. Uh, if you like the videos, there's going to be a lot of them this year. Just like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching.